So I took office, and three months after I had been sworn in, two guys from Colorado Springs came into my office. And um, they had gone to the county clerk in Colorado Springs to ask for a marriage license. They had a legal reason. They wanted to qualify for the Homestead Act, which I can't profess to understand really, but it had to do with acquiring land through some government program. And that was their reason for wanting to get married. Um, they were both named Dave. And they, um, they came into my office one day. Here's a little, little picture of the two of them. And they asked me for a marriage license because the Colorado Springs County Clerk had said to them, um, we don't do that kind of thing here, but you might go to Boulder, knowing Boulder's reputation. And that's how they came to my office. I didn't know if I could issue a marriage license. I looked at the marriage code. It didn't specifically say that marriage had to be between a man and a woman. But I told them I'd have to get a legal opinion from our district attorney. And that's what I did. The district attorney in those days was Alex Hunter, and his deputy was Bill Wise. And they researched the Colorado married, marriage code and it did not specify that marriage had to be between a man and a woman. That changed later as Colorado, you know, grew into panicking more, uh, when late, a number of years later, when Hawaii tried to pass um, marriage, same-sex marriage um, law. And other st states panicked and jumped on the bandwagon to pass a lot of those constitutional amendments at that time denying it. But at that time, there was no specification. And Bill Wise and Alex Hunter told me, it's up to you if you want to marry, issue a marriage license. Uh, you can decide to do so. I issued that license based really on one premise, other than, of course, the fact it was not illegal. I was a feminist asking for equal rights, and I felt very deeply, who was I to deny equal rights to someone else who was asking for the same? And that was pretty much the, at the core of all of it, and why I made the decision to issue those licenses. Were I, you seeing it at the time as, as a challenge that that uh, it, it might lead to reactions and so forth? You know, I was mind? pretty naive. I knew that there would be an uproar about it, but I really was unprepared for the degree of the uproar about it. I was, I was very unprepared. Um, I'll mention that in just a moment again, but um, during that course of several weeks, I issued five more licenses for a total of six. J.D. McFarlane, who was the state attorney general, got into the act and he wrote a letter saying he thought I should stop issuing licenses because they might be misleading to people to think they had more rights than they actually did. And at that point, the district attorney said to me, the state attorney general has no more legal authority than I do, but in the eyes of the public, he does. So we do recommend that you stop. By that time, I had issued six licenses.